What up, guys? This is Kibo Cars. Back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some early gameplay of Welcome to Elk. Now, there's no confirmed release date quite yet. However, it will be releasing later in 2020 on Xbox, Steam, and Mac. This game actually won Best Story at the Indie Arena booth at Gamescom 2019. Welcome to Elk is a biographical adventure set on an island like no other, where every character that you encounter has a story to tell. From the weird and wonderful to dark and desperate, all the tales told on Elk are based on true stories of life on the road less traveled. So this is a narrative game based on the tales of real stories told by real people. There's also many games that are deeply connected to the game and the story. So let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys the demo gameplay. The demo will be releasing for everybody as part of Xbox Summer Games Fest on July 21st, 2020. Now, as mentioned before, this is a narrative-driven game. However, there is no voiceover, so I will be reading it to you guys. In this game, we play as Frigg. She says, how's it go, Captain? Wet. It is wet. Such poetry. Okay, he doesn't seem too interested in talking to us. Let's talk to this guy. Ahoy, Anders. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. You know, Captain, Anders doesn't look so well. That's because he's dead. What? Yup. I can't believe it. Yup. First mate Anders is dead. We must sing him a song for his passing. Cabin Girl Frigg, will you sing with us? Of course. Alright guys, so we have dived into our first minigame. Cabin Girl Frigg, let our voices soar and carry Anders to the other side. Amazing, your voice is stupendous Frigg. Don't hold back, Frigg. Let Anders hear our cries. That's pretty dope. It goes right with the music. How cool is that? Whoa. That dream was insane. I definitely should record it in one of my bottles. Wow, shouts out to the art style, guys. The art style in this game is really awesome. Super creative. Okay, I should write down that story before I forget. Forget? Wait, isn't there something I'm not supposed to forget? Crapper, I told Anders I would hang out with him today. Better head over to his cave now. Alright, so we're just going to proceed to the right. We're going to try to find this cave. Okay, who are these guys? You such a dumb drunk f***er, Leroy. Ha, frick off, Victor. The hell you just say? Oh, sh nothing. Nothing. Damn right, nothing. Oh, hum. Hey, guys. F*** off, Frig. We're drinking here. Ha, yeah. Okay, those dudes straight have their guns out and everything. Not too sure if they're gonna blast each other. Har har. Ha, good one, Victor. Ugh, those guys suck. Huh. I wonder what those guys have to deal with the story. They were definitely kind of savage. I wonder if this game, like, takes a dark turn. Hey, Anders. Frig! So glad you're here. Everything's okay? How's your rabbit, Clumbin? Oh, she's fine. No, I wanted to talk about my parents. Ah, is this another thing about you being dead? We're all dead here, Frigg. I really did die on that boat, you know. Um... Of course, Anders. Sorry. Please continue. Well, as you know, I never knew my parents. But I just know they're here in the afterlife, too. You mean elk? That's what I said. But you know, I've never seen them. 
but I figure if I could picture what they look like, I'd be sure to know it's them when I see them. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So, what's the plan? Well, I got these funny people papers. I think they'll help me. They'll help me see my mom and dad. Uh-huh. Um, can I help? That's a great idea. I bet you know what my mom and dad look like, Frigg. Um, sure I do. Alright guys, looks like it's time for another minigame. I bet my dad looks really beautiful, like a famous singer. Okay, so it appears that we have to create the face of his father. So, what do you guys think his father looked like, guys? I mean, look at him. Based off the features on the lower left-hand corner of the screen, his little face, let's see if uh, we can find a nose like that. The thing that's really bothering me is I feel like most of these eyes are on the right side. Like, is there any eyeballs that are left left side eyeballs? It's like I have two right eyes. And a lot of them, well, I guess there are some female and some male ones. That's a super creepy smile. <laughs> I wish I could resize the eyes. Okay, just boop the seal of approval when you're done. Alright, the seal of approval, that was funny. And my mom is someone really important, like a ship captain or a banker. Okay, so what does Anders' mom look like? Let's see if we can make somebody a little less creepy looking. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna look creepy, guys. At least I found two female eyes. The one on the right, though, I'm not too sure if that's... Wait, no. Now I have two left eyes, and none of these nose look like a female nose. Whatever, we'll just give her the big old Squidward nose. And, okay, I think these are some woman lips. I think so. We gotta press the seal of approval. Amazing, Frig. That must be what they look like. Let me just put them up here. Wow. They totally don't look creepy at all. All thanks to you, Frigg. I'm sure to find my parents now. Let me get you a drink at the bar as thanks. Okay, yeah, that would be great. I think one of the faces just winked at me. Creepy. I wonder if Elk is heaven, guys. I wonder if that's what's going on here. So how did you die, Frigg? Um... I didn't, Anders. Huh. I'm definitely getting heaven vibes, guys. Oh, thank God they left. Woo-wee. Beer time. First one's on me for helping me, Frigg. Sounds good, Anders. Wait. Anders never has any money. Man, as far as I know, he better have some money. He offered me a drink. He better not be trying to mooch off me. Let's see. Let's talk to the bartender. Well, morning, sunshine. No work with Jan today. Nah, he's helping Ingrid out on the boat today, so got the day off. Hehe, <laughs> well I got plenty you can help me with today, Hiccup, if you're free, Frigg. Don't you pay her any mind, Frigg. Sue here has just been enjoying her liquid breakfast. Aw, come on, Bobby. You know the beer ain't the only thing keeping me here. There you fecking are. God damn it, Sue. You're supposed to be teaching Freddy today. I got Jeppe coming with the ferry today. You know how well he pays me? Heh <laughs> oh sh**, my bad. Now Beth, Sue, how about we take it easy? No need to be swearing in front of little Freddy. Come on, Mrs. Sue. I need to fucking learn these things to get off this fucking island. Never mind then. Yeah, see Sue, my daughter needs an education. Hey. I have an idea. Why don't we all have a beer to cool off? I could do with one. How about it, Beth? You buying? Yeah, Frigg. You buying? Beer. Looks like it's your round, Frigg. Crapper. I walked right into that one. Haha. <laughs> um, okay, sure. Screw it. You know what? I'll even pour them. 
Hehe, <laughs> now we're talking. Frig, you ever poured a beer before? Come on, Bobby, it'll lighten the mood. You don't want Sue to lose her only student, do you? Ah, uh, okay, you got me. At least let me show you what to do. Alright, third minigame, guys. We're gonna have to pour some brews. Some brewskis. Let's see how this works. Okay. So, alright, that's a lot of foam. Okay, we can tilt it to get rid of some foam. I don't know if we just have to try to serve a beer with no foam or a little bit of foam. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how this works, guys. Alright, hardly any foam. That's probably how I'd want it. Here you go. Too little foam. Too little of foam. Who likes foam? Oh, they have specific orders on the right-hand side. It shows how much foam they're requesting. He says, fill mine to the top. Spill out as much as you can to all the foam's gone. Here you go. Thanks. Alright, so this person wants, like, I'd say 30% foam. Anders. Beer. He says beer. He should be saying foam. That's like a half cup of foam. That should be good. Here you go. Anders says thanks. Let's see. Next we got Sue. Sue says to keep it simple. That looks like, you know, maybe 10 to 15% foam. I think we need to add a little more foam. So we'll pour that out. Ah, uh, that's close enough. Here you go. Sue says thanks. Thanks, hun. Nice job on those beers. Come on then, Martha. Fuck. You know it's Freddy, missus. Heh <laughs> Sure, sure. Come on then. So that little kid, he's saying fecking instead of fucking. He, he says it with an E. Hey, Beth. How are you feeling? What was with that squirrel? Nothing wrong with squirrels. Damn tasty things, too. You eat them? Haha, <laughs> bet we do. Me and Freddy ain't that picky, let me tell ya. Tricky bastards are hard to catch, but it's worth it. Okay, wait, you gotta tell me more about this. Haha, <laughs> oh sure, I can tell you all about it. Better take a seat, this story's a kicker. Alright, so apparently these are true stories, guys. Let's see what's going on here. We're playing as Sue now. How's it going, Mr. Fixer? Please don't tease me, Beth. You know I'm crap with machines. Haha, <laughs> you're doing fine. Okay, so maybe that's her man. So you gonna help your mom with the clothes? Yes. Damn it, George. Those fecking squirrels have been chewing on my clothes again. Fecking squirrels? Jesus, alright, alright. I'll try to put some traps out there or something. Let me finish with this snow scooter first, will ya? Yeah, see, Freddy? Your dad's a good man, even if his beard does smell a little like piss. And I love you too, Beth. Haha, <laughs> you know I love you, George. Mom, I'm bored. Can you sing with us or something? Ah, uh, of course, darling. Let me just... Wait, did you hear something? Good fucking evening to you all. Oh, fuck, Beth. Freddy, stay behind me. Watch it. Just stand where you are, alright? Who are you? Less of the dumbass questions, please. I don't hold guns not to use them. Beth, please, just do what they say. George, you horrible bastard. You know we've been looking for you. Victor? Leroy? I know why you're here. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just go somewhere and talk about this. Just not in front of my family. Please. You got some fucking nerve you have. Too right, you know why we're here, you fucker. You killed Donnie, you fuck. Donnie fucking killer. They're meeting in the prison. Oh, George. Look, I had no choice. You have to believe me. You fucking what? Okay, okay, look, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Just let my family go. Fucking hell, George. We're not monsters. Use what we want, George. You know how it is. An ear for an ear. George. Daddy. Girls, I'm so sorry. Mummy, do something. 
Okay. Fourth mini game, guys. Are we gonna sing again? This is it, Beth. Please, sing me one last song. Let me sing with you, Mom. It's beautiful, Mom. Daddy, can you hear us? Wow, that was pretty sad guys. It turns out that the guys arguing in front of the pub are the guys that ended up killing the father. Kind of went full circle with the story. I really think that elk represents heaven, guys. Well, let me tell you how I was told about George and how he died. George was a weed farmer up in Green Lane Road. And one day, he was caught by the police. And then he was sent to jail, where he had to do a couple of years. And to get by, he had to trade in some favors with some bikers to be safe in prison. And he did what he had to do, and after some years, he was free and he went home on Greenland Road to see his family. And some more years went by. Until one day, when the bikers, they came to him for unsettled death. The neighbors could hear the motorcycle engines roaring, driving up on Green Lane Road and stopping at George's house. And there the bikers went in, dragged out George, his wife and his daughter and tied him up to some poles in the driveway. And while Anna and, Annie and Mia, the daughter, the wife and daughter, they watch, put a shotgun to George's head and they pulled the trigger and blew off his face. George just hanging there, me and Annie unable to help, just watching the baggers to go. And of course George, he was dead. Years later I went there on Green Lane Road and at the bar I met Annie and Mia, been told the story about George's death. I had to ask them, was this true? Was it how it happened? And if so, how did they get by afterwards? So I asked them that. And then she simply asked, and I answered, well, we had to eat a lot of squirrels afterwards. But George gone, bringing home no money. pretty shocked by this answer. I looked at Mia, the daughter. She was just staring into the air, all empty. And then finally she said, the day daddy died, I'm never gonna forget. Wow, that was really awesome, guys. Great, great storytelling in this demo of Welcome to Elk. I really like how they introduce the clip at the end of the story to bring the story full circle. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.